to the, it was, it was actually, it was not a vintner in Prussia. He was a journalist, a radical journalist, got in jail, got out, uh, came to Philadelphia, taught at the Philadelphia School of Free Thinkers, um, and then ultimately made his way to uh, California. He was quite the entrepreneur, did a, a whole series of things. He worked for the U.S. Mint. Uh, he was the editor for the German language uh, newspaper service in the West Coast. Um, so he did a variety of things. He got introduced to winemaking through friends, acquaintances who had small vineyards, started doing winemaking, home winemaking, started doing consulting winemaking, in, in fact, that's one of the first consulting winemakers in, in California. And then he married Carolina Bale in December of 1860. With that marriage, she brought a dowry of about 600 acres of land in the heart of Napa Valley. Her family was a very prominent family, significant land holdings in Northern California. So that's, so the next year he pursued his love of winemaking, established his winery in 1861, the oldest in Napa Valley.